Hey guys, welcome to the Field of 68 YouTube channel. If you like what you see here, hit that subscribe button and you'll get more college basketball content just like this. The Villanova Wildcats, baby. Ooh. They have now loaded Ooh. up, man. They're the biggest winners. They are the biggest winners of today, of the portal season, of all of it. Because Ooh, I don't know about that. All of it. They have NIL now. They kept Justin Moore, number one, with NIL. They went and they got TJ Bamba from Washington State, uh, a, a New York native who comes in and gives them kind of that that scoring wing, kind of old school game. Uh, they go and they get Akeem Hart, a veteran from Maryland, who will be a really good piece. They get Lance Ware, who barely played, you know, didn't do much at Kentucky. He'll be a good piece. You got Eric Dixon back. Mark Armstrong is your kind of point guard. If he's good enough, if not, you play more at the point. And, oh, by the way, you just got Tyler Burton, um, who withdrew today or withdrew yesterday, uh, committed today to Villanova. Uh, terrific player uh, from Richmond. Not a alpha dog, but but a terrific wing, skilled, uh, athletic. He'll be great. They, you know, like, honestly, Neptune went from having nothing last year at the start of the season to honestly being loaded now and, and having everything he needs to maybe win the, the big East this year. Maybe. Mm -hmm. it, this is something that, and, and you guys are, are well sourced to talk to people um, that Villanova, the moment that they got knocked out of the big East tournament, if not before two, three weeks before the wheels had been turning on this, for weeks, if not months, of all right, look at what they did out in Portland. The moment that they went over out of the film oh. line was the moment of this is not going well. It's probably not going to end well. And we need to move fast because we are Villanova and expectations are high there now. The, the expectation has changed. Yeah. Last, this past year, disappointing in every way. To bring in Baker Dunleavy. To run the NIL stuff. Yeah, did he ask you for? Did you give any money for Villanova's NIL? Did they ask you for any money, Fana? No, he donated to Seton Hall. Just Seton Hall? You're only allowed to donate to Seton Hall? I heard I it was give, Georgetown. I don't give money. I only. <laughs> I only carry water. You give water to Cooley. <laughs> I carry plenty of water. <laughs> my water has I don't not donate broken. money. I only carry water. My water has not broken yet. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> having said this, having said this, um, Rob, compose yourself. Uh, Our partner for today's episode is Athletic Greens. I started taking AG1 during the college basketball season, and I loved the impact that it had on my energy levels. I'm a big coffee in the morning guy, but by the time that the afternoon would hit, I needed another boost. AG1 helped me tremendously, especially on those days when I didn't want to get up off the couch and go hit the gym. Their tagline is AG1 is comprehensive health and the power of habit in one. And man, that could not be more true. It's nearly impossible to eat and drink in a healthy manner in the month of February and the month of March when you are in my business. And AG1 was exactly the supplement that I needed to improve my gut health and cover my nutritional basis for the day. I've continued that into April. I've continued that into May, and I'm going to continue that the rest of the summer. All I have to do is mix a scoop of AG1 with some water or maybe add it into a smoothie and I'm ready to go. Do it after lunch and you'll be ready to go for the rest of the day. If a comprehensive solution is what you need from your supplement routine, then Athletic Greens is giving you a free one-year supply of vitamin D and five free travel packs with your first purchase. Go to athleticgreens.com backslash field68. That's field68, F-I-E-L-D, the number six, the number eight, and you can get yours now. So check it out and help support this show. Thanks. Fanta. Here's the thing. I've missed you, Fanta. I've missed Here's you. The thing. I, mi I missed you too. Here's the thing. I'm I'm with you, Jeff. I think that this is a top three team in the Big East. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I agree. Could be a top 15 team in the country. In fact, I'd probably put them 14, 15 right now. Yeah. And here's the thing. They don't need Tyler Bird to be their alpha. No, no. no. no Justin Moore, like, I don't think – I think we all thought, oh, Moore's going to come back and he'll be – It'll be pretty good, or he'll be okay. No, no, no. 
he came back. He had Villanova playing as well as anybody going into March this past season. It just faded at the end. Having him run the show, Eric Dixon is a killer, guys, in, uh, on the interior. I mean, he he's a he's bull. A, he's an alpha. It, he, he's they're an all alpha. old. Look he's at how alpha. old they are as a team. Mm-hmm. They're old. They're old and switchable. And they yes. have multiple ball Here's, handlers on the floor at all times now. I, I have I have two I have two major concerns. Well, no, I don't want to say major concerns, but I have two concerns that like I kind of I need to see how these things develop. One, I am not convinced that Justin Moore at the point guard spot is the answer to any situation. I think he needs someone to to compliment him back there. So to me, like you need Mark Armstrong to to take a leap. You need right, him. I don't he can. He can. Yeah. You don't need him to be an all-conference guy. You don't need him to be Jalen Brunson. You don't need him to be Archie Diakono. You need him to be a 12-4 and four guy that on the nights when you need a big night, he can get you 22, 23, like every third night. He can make plays on the road. He can be a guy that can disrupt stuff. You need Mark Armstrong to take a leap. The other thing is, and I said this last year too, Jay Wright, what made him special as a basketball coach was his ability to teach the game and his ability to get guys to play the way that he wanted to play after having them in his program for two, three, four, sometimes five years, right? Kyle Neptune, we don't know. Like, I, I like Kyle. I, 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 want, I want him to succeed. We don't know what he is as a teacher of the game yet simply because we haven't had a chance to see it. The one year we've seen him as a head coach, it's two of his three top guys were injured at the start of the year. That's he right. never had a fair chance to kind of get it going. So – we need to see what Kyle Neptune is and how quickly he can get all of these guys and all of these new pieces. You know, let's just call it what it is. If they have seven guys in their rotation right now, 57% of their 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 lineup is going to be new pieces coming in. So we need to see what Kyle Neptune can be. This is this is a big year for Kyle, I think. And I'll tell you this much. I had my doubts about going him his ability to go into portal and get that done. He proved me wrong there. And I would love to see him prove me wrong. The Big East is better when Villanova is is great. It just is, and they got a chance to be it. I'm very excited about what this team can be, and I live outside Philly. Let's go! Come on, I I need I need that local team to be good. When's the last time you were at a Villanova game? Uh, I didn't go last year, but ah uh, no, I didn't go the COVID year, so probably 2019. You don't even go. No, why? I mean, let's face it, you don't even leave your house. <laughs> I've I've, pro- I've been to, since I moved up here. I've probably been to like eight Villanova games. Thank you for watching the Field of 68. If you've enjoyed what you've seen here, hit that like button, share this link with your friends, or check out the description for some other places that you can consume Field of 68 content.